bunny was dead. Um, for starters, I had made one of these, uh, made this video just a couple days ago, and my phone decided to break on me, and I had to go get a new one, and uh, the video did not save, so this is the previous model that I had made, all on video to submit for you guys a couple days ago. This one I will be giving away, and the new one that we're building I will be also giving away. I'm going to go over some uh, things that we're going to need for this uh, DIY algae scrubber. First things first, you're going to need some acrylic. The, all the acrylic I bought was already pre-cut from Tap Plastics and uh, it was $32.67. And I have uh, one sheet of 12 inches by 10 inches in black, two sheets at 5 inches by 8 inches in black, two sheets at 12 by 5 in black, and one sheet of clear at 12 by 8. And the thickness I like to go with for all of it was 3 sixteenths. Um, give it a little bit of strength. So let's go over the things that you're going to need for this project. You obviously need the acrylic, a little bit of duct tape, tape measure, weld on four, applicator for weld on four, weld on 16 for any bigger gaps, PVC cutters, quarter inch drill bit, PVC uh, splicer, and a one inch drill bit. Three quarter inch PVC plumbing, half inch PVC plumbing, three quarter inch cap, three quarter inch to half inch reducer. This slides right inside here. So let's get started on building this algae scrubber. I have already drilled the holes and I have already taped it all together, so all I have to do is get it glued. This is the new one right here, all brand new acrylic. You can see I used quite a bit of duct tape to get it to hold in place. That's my quarter inch hole, one inch hole, one inch hole, one inch hole on the bottom. That's bottom hole is your emergency. Everything is made to fit really, really snug. So for starters, start off with weld on four. I have already everything nice and tight. And as I'm gluing, I can see where the, all the glue is going and filling in the seams and making sure that it's really holding up all the seams in there just right and I'm not the best at doing acrylic glue um, so I probably do a little more than maybe needed but I want to make sure it's gonna hold and I'm not gonna have any issues later on down the road so I put on a fair amount I really want to make sure that it's going to hold. And that's it. It's already glued, ready to go. Give that a little bit of time for it to cure. So we take our three quarter to half inch reducer bushing. It should slide right in this hole. I made it a tight fit. Um, you could take a little bit of Weld On 16 and put it in here. That's what I would do. It's pretty tight. I don't think it's going to leak. I've already gone ahead and uh, made this fitting. This is where the screen would go. So I've used this tool right here to splice my line right through here. When it's all done, it'll look like this. You take a couple zip ties. And wrap it around the screen. Okay, we've done this. Take this piece right here. I've already got the cap on. Just right in there. I've already got a little hole drilled here on the end cap. Quarter inch hole drilled into there. Not all the way through. Just enough. So you slide this into here. You take your bolt. Thread your bolt through your hole. And 
it's in. Then you would add your netting in there. Next thing, this is your return. You need two three quarter inch elbows and some three quarter inch plumbing. Attaches right to this piece. This is for your return pump to hook up to. Then next, we need some more three quarter. So I'm gonna cut a little bit here. quarter inch plumbing right here which should slide into here this is your main drain and I made everything really tight so you could just fill it up with a little bit of weld on 16 um, you can add an elbow onto this right here so it drains down into your tank this one here is for the emergency you're gonna put another barbed fitting just like this one here. It's a three quarter inch barb fitting. And it's just high enough up where your main drain will be used before the emergency. If the water gets too high past this, then it'll flow down into the emergency. And that's that's pretty much the basics of it right there. That is, that's it. Have a cap for right here on the top. Block the light out, it's all black. Um, generally what I would like to do is try to do some white on the inside. Uh, that'll help it get a little bit more reflective. But that is, uh, that's it. That's pretty simple. Straightforward. Both algae scrubbers are right here. And two lucky people will be receiving these algae scrubbers for free. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.